Hi everyone, let's talk Gemstone Beta. ACDC Gemstone Photo Editor is a product currently in beta development that you can try for free. I'll link to more information in the description. We'll continue where we left off in the previous video on layers. I have an open blank document. We'll add some content. I'm going to make a composition similar to my astronaut composition here. I'll start with adding a blank layer. I'll click the plus button underneath the layer panel. A blank layer pops up. We know it is blank because the checkered pattern on our preview panel indicates that the layer is transparent. Let's fill the layer with blue. I'll click the foreground background color picker, navigate to custom, and pick a blue that I like. Note that I can enter a color hex code in the field below to get the precise color. I'm going to hit OK and use the fill tool to fill the entire blank layer. Note that the blue color is now visible in the preview pane, but also in the layer thumbnail. I'll add rulers to my document by navigating to view rulers. Rulers enable me to drag guides. I'll drag guides onto my art area. Guides are a good way to help organize your content. Images and objects can actually snap to guides. Let's expand the canvas. I can do this two ways, by using the crop tool or by navigating to document, resize canvas. I'll add an eighth of an inch to my canvas. Let's add a new image by navigating to the add a file as a layer button. This is underneath the layer panel. I'll add my astronaut face, increasing the size of the image and snapping it to the bottom left. Let's make a selection of just the astronaut's helmet and face. I'll navigate to the lasso selection tool and right click to select the polygonal selection tool. I'll make sure that the tool properties is set to add to selection and I'll start selecting my subject. I'm going to speed this process up. What I'm going to do is I'll make a selection and then I'm going to double click to add it to my overall selection. Meanwhile, I can use the spacebar to scrub around my image. When I'm finished making my selection, I'll zoom out a bit, and we're going to make a mask of our selection. Masking our selection will mask out, or hide, everything outside of our selection on our image here. Making sure that my astronaut layer is selected, I'll click the mask button underneath the layer panel. A mask thumbnail appears next to my astronaut image. The white part of the mask is turned on, meaning that we can see those pixels, and the black part of our mask is turned off, meaning that those pixels have been turned off in those areas or they're transparent. Let's add an adjustment layer. I'll click to the Adjustments tab and double click to select Curves. I'll adjust the curve on my image and clip that curves adjustment to the astronaut layer. To clip a layer, click on the little diamond. Clipping makes that adjustment only occur on the layer directly beneath it, rather than the whole document. I'll add one more layer to this file by clicking on the Add a New File as a Layer button. I'll add this paper texture, and then what I'm going to do is I will move that layer so that it covers everything, and I'll click OK when I'm done. Above that layer in the layer panel is opacity and blending. I'll click the word normal and select multiply from the dropdown. Multiply blends that layer with all the layers beneath it. To wrap this video up, I will show you the final product after all the edits have been made. Hopefully this video gives you a good example of the power of Gemstone and enough of a platform to spring off of. Thanks for watching. Check the description below for videos on Gemstone's multi-document interface and the raw editor. Please note that Gemstone is a beta release with the aim of gathering your feedback to help us build a better product. Subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on future videos.